In this problem, we're asked to differentiate and anti-differentiate a given power series. So to differentiate, all we'll do is take the derivative of each term with respect to x. So the derivative of power series, or the function p of x given by this power series, is just the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of, let's see here, Take the derivative with respect to x, so the only x in the um, in each term is the x minus 4 to the k. So we'll you know, use the power rule, multiply by k, uh, x minus 4, and bring down uh, exponent 1 power, uh, or bring down the exponent by 1, and then we're left with a constant in the bottom, which is 7 to the k plus 1 uh, times k. And here we have a k in the numerator and denominator, so they cancel out. And we get a final answer uh, for the derivative um, as the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of x minus 4 uh, to k minus 1 over uh, 7 to the k plus 1. All right, and next we want to find the antiderivative of p to the x, uh, same as the indefinite, indefinite integral. And to do this, we just do a similar thing to what we did to find the derivative. Instead of differentiating each term, we'll just take the antiderivative of each term. This is the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of um, antiderivative of x minus 4 to the k over 7 to the k plus 1 times k. dx. So here we'll just use the power rule for integrals and uh, we get x to the minus 4 to the k plus 1 uh, divided by the new power k plus 1 multiplied by 7 to the k plus 1 and multiplied by k. So, probably simplify this a little bit. So we'll write the final answer as x to the minus 4 to the k plus 1 over k squared plus k times 7 to the k plus 1. Oh, and of course here, taking an antiderivative, so it's only good up to a constant. So I add plus c. Notice that I put the parentheses around the um, power series because I don't want, um, don't want to accidentally imply that um, we're adding c to each term in the series. We're really taking the entire series and writing plus c after that. 